Schools put a lot of effort into providing more and better resources with the aim of benefiting children's learning. But does enriching the environment in this way really help to enhance brain development? A 10-year research project on the effective provision of preschool and primary education, EPI, looked to the effect of the educational environment on the development of children aged 3 to 11. The project, based at the Institute of Education in London, is led by Professor Iram Siraj Blatchford. It's a mixed method study that's not only picking up um, the outcomes that the children have over a period of time, but also we're looking at the, the, the settings that the children went to when they were very small, the effective settings, and looking at the practices that are taking place in those settings. EPI is following over 3,000 children, gathering information through a range of survey techniques, including case studies and interviews. We picked up large numbers of children in each preschool setting, 141 preschool settings, and then we were able to look at which were the more effective settings and which were the less effective settings in terms of children's attainment over time. It also looks at the practices that led to that progress. The research firmly confirmed what many in the education sector know instinctively, that success is not simply a matter of having more physical resources, but depends much more on the quality of the staff. For many of our children, the richest resource seemed to be the human resource that they had available to them. And one of the things EPI found was that settings that had more highly qualified staff were providing the kind of guided thinking, the kind of sustained shared thinking, um, not the thinking that dominates children's minds, but the kind that guides children's minds and extends them. Enriched environments are important, but they can be a little hit and miss, depending on what the child takes from it. It really is the quality of the adult and the stimulus that the adult provides in helping the child engage with the environment. It's like having a curriculum. It's, it's great to have a curriculum, but it's the adult that makes it accessible to the child. And if the adult, the quality of the training is poor, then the child doesn't access the curriculum as well. Whilst the quality of adult training may be an obvious factor in a child's development, the study found some less expected results. In our case studies, we found an interesting relationship between the social and the cognitive development. We found that those settings that tended to prioritise both equally had better outcomes. We know from talking to the parents and the staff that most of them tended to prioritise social development. I think it's, it's, it's a pattern that's persisted over a number of decades that if you support children's social development, the cognitive will come. You know, if you get the social right first, the cognitive will come. But we actually found, to our surprise, that the settings that saw social and cognitive development as complementary actually did the best for their children. The study also found that the quality of the early home learning environment had a direct impact on children's cognitive development, reinforcing the conclusion that simply adding more physical resources to our school environments doesn't automatically correlate to improving children's learning. <laughs>